everyone, Security Dave here. Today we're going to be setting up Grid on your LastPass account. Grid is a printable spreadsheet of numbers that acts as your multi-factor authentication and doesn't use a smartphone. This would be particularly helpful to have if, for instance, you were to lose your smartphone or if it was broken. All right, so let's go ahead and get started in setting up Grid. So what you want to do is you want to start off on your computer and log into LastPass.com with your account. So this is our password vault. I have nothing in it currently, but you can see I'm logged in with my secure at dave at gmail.com. What you want to do is want to start down here at the account settings page on the bottom left. From here, you may see that we've noticed this is, this is where we had set up the multi-factor authentication on our last uh, video, if you uh, had watched that one. So you can see here uh, under multi-factor options, this is where we'll select grid. So under multi-factor authentication under free, you can scroll down to grid, which is the bottom one and the cur currently, uh, and it describes it as a printable spreadsheet of numbers and letters used to enter different values when logging in. So if you want to hit edit on this, we will get it started on uh, setting this up. So uh, LastPass makes it relatively easy to enable. All you do is go from enabled from no to yes. Uh, and then there's a couple extra options down here at the bottom. So if you want to be able to access your uh, LastPass offline, you would select change this from disallow to allow. Uh, this does uh, download an encrypted um, LastPass archive to your computer. So you know you may want to leave this at disallow if you have a pretty stable or good internet connection. But you know maybe. You know you don't have the greatest um, the greatest internet connection, so you'd probably select this to allow the permit access from incompatible mobile devices. I would recommend leaving this as disallow unless you have uh, an older mobile device. So it says iPhone S uh, 6s or older. Um, you know it will basically turn off uh, multi-factor authentication for these devices. It's probably not a good idea to allow this unless you have a real good reason to uh, change this. So after you've set this up, really all you're going to be doing is hitting update uh, after you view and print. But let me pull up the help manual so you can see the idea behind this grid. I'm not going to open up my grid uh, just because it would show uh, the multi-factor authentication options for your or for my account. Uh, but after you get the grid, you'll want to print it and store it somewhere secure. If you're not using this as your main multi-factor authentication method for your account, say you've already set up uh, Google Authenticator or something like that, you'll probably want to leave uh, that as your primary um, factor for authentication. So to use Grid, you can see we went through these steps already. Um, and then when you click on the View and Print Grid, it will open up the web browser and it will show you this type of screen right here. So you can download it as an ex, like an, a, a CSV, which is basically just a, a, a simple spreadsheet that will show you um, this grid and it will be different for you. So when you log in and you select the grid multi-factor authentication, it's going to ask you for what value is at each location. So for instance, in this bottom uh, example here, it says Z7. So when you go to Z, the last row, and then down to seven, it's a W, as you can see here. And then N3 would be N3 is X. So that would be what you put into that box and so on. And so this is another way, basically it's the, the what you have. You have this piece of paper. I'm, I'm assuming you're printing it or you have it on your computer. Uh, I would probably suggest printing it so that it's physical copy. Uh, you know, you'll have it somewhere safe, hopefully as a backup to get into your account. Uh, Google uses similar things, but they're called one-time use codes. They're basically just a long string of numbers and things like that that will let you into your account. So after you've set this up, you just hit update and it will prompt you for your LastPass password again. And then you hit update and it says to reprint your grid to make sure that you won't get locked out. 
So, you know, have a copy, have another copy. Make sure that you have at least one item set to enabled. And if it's just grid, you want to make sure you have multiple copies of this somewhere. You know, make sure you have one. If you have a safe, put it in a safe. If you have, you know, your sock drawer or whatever, make sure you have a copy somewhere that it's uh, that it's safe so you can get in here. So that pretty much wraps up setting up grid. You'll just have this uh, spreadsheet enabled, and when you log in, you'll have that uh, those letters and numbers to, to reflect a uh, another value that you will enter. Thanks again for joining me in learning how to set up grid on your LastPass account. If you have suggestions for video topics, please leave me a comment below or email me directly. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you again.